Hey everybody, Edo here, and today we have a delightful, delightful review of Agricola, All Creatures Big and Small, from um, Artem and Alex of Ultima Games. Now, um, they do, they make games and do game reviews, but currently they're working on Cauldron, a competitive game of alchemy coming in on Kickstarter. You had me at Cauldron. But first, let's talk about Agricola. Thanks. Hi, I'm Artem. And I'm Alex. We're from Ultima Games. Today, we'd like to tell you about one of our favorite two-player games, Agricola, All Creatures Big and Small. Now, the name Agricola probably sounds familiar because that's the monumental, epic, huge worker placement game that everyone loves and everyone seems to be very stressed about. In this particular two-player spin-off, there is significantly less family member starvation and significantly more adorable animal meeples. So, we really like it. The way that it works, at its heart, it's a worker placement game that is based off of non-modifiable small board with 16 spots that you can assign workers to. Each player has three workers and throughout eight rounds of play they have a chance to assign to one of the spots and get stuff based on where you assign your worker. Now the board gives you resources that you can use to build out your farm making buildings, fences, and uh, improvements, allowing you to keep more and more animals. Now, getting animals is what the game is all about. Basically, there are a few ways to get animals. You can get them from assigning workers to certain spots on the board. You can get them through your farm, because they do breed there. And there are some also special cases that you can get them. At the end of the game, after the eight rounds, the, every player counts up how many animals they have and are awarded points based on the amount. In a shocking twist, whoever has the most victory points at the end wins. Yes. So there's a couple of reasons why we like this game. First, it's quick. Um, it's very compact, so you can take it anywhere with you. We played it on a plane, on a train, didn't play it on a bus. We did pretty not much play anywhere it on you can take it. There's a small table, you're good. Uh, the reason that we really, really like it though is that it's, while it's simple in its nature and it's very easy to get, it provides you with a whole bunch of different strategies and tactics that you can execute. That means that no two games are the same and that's what I personally really enjoy about it. It's always a lot of fun. You can try something different and try to beat this guy. So would you say that even uh, you can still catch up even if you make a uh, bad move? Oh Sorry, I'm just horsing around. This is what I have to live with. So anyways, if you have a dedicated gaming partner and you're looking for a quick, smart and fun game, we really suggest you give Agricola All Creatures Big and Small a shot. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Eduardo, for hosting. And uh, keep an eye out for Cauldron, our upcoming board game of competitive alchemy. It's coming to Kickstarter in spring of 2015. Bye. Bye. And that was... Artem and Alex of Ultima Games reviewing Agricola, All Creatures Big and Small, a fantastic two-player game. Also, keep an eye out for their game Cauldron coming out on Kickstarter. I'll provide some links. Subscribe, share. If you want to be a guest reviewer, let me know. More importantly, play some good games. Thanks. Bye.